All right, we know that this is an almost exact differential equation and it does have a special integrating factor in terms of y. And we'll just call that to be mu of y. And of course, our goal is to find out what mu of y is, right? Let's go ahead and do our usual work. Let's go ahead right here, label m, and we'll label this as n. And of course, we have to know the formula. And let me just put down that big part for you guys first. Let's focus on getting the n sub x minus m sub y, and then all over m, the original m. And you see, this and that will match. And keep in mind, on the tops are the partial derivatives, on the bottom are the original. This and that match though. So let's try to figure that out first, and hopefully this right here is an expression in terms of y only. So, m, n sub x, we look at this and do the partial with respect to x. This is the only part that we have to worry, right? We go ahead and differentiate x squared, which is just going to be 2x, and then the tangent y is just a constant, so let's go ahead and put that down as tangent of y. And the derivative of cosine squared y in the x world is just 0, so this right here is it. Next, we are going to subtract m sub y, means we look at this and differentiate this with respect to y. This is going to give us 0. The derivative of cosine y is negative sine y, and we have it. This is all over the original m, which is just that, 2x plus cosine of y. That's what we have. Okay, how in the world that this is just in terms of y? Hmm, of course, let's do something to figure this out. Well, let's see, this is 2x, and for the tangent y, let's just go ahead and write this as sine y over cosine y. Okay, let's put parentheses around it. And then minus minus becomes plus, and this is just sine of y, and then this is all over that, which is 2x plus cosine of y. Uh, still not exactly clear, right? But this is a complex fraction because of this little fraction in the big one. Well, we can just multiply the top and bottom by this cosine y so that we don't have to deal with complex fractions anymore. So let's multiply by cosine of y, top and bottom. And of course, if you don't want to put down the parentheses around the y, it should be okay. But anyways, I am putting this down for you guys already. All right, so this is how I want to show you. I'm going to distribute cosine y into here, into here, isn't it? But pay attention that on the top, I do have this sine y, sine y in common. Let's factor that out first. So I will put this down as sine of y, all the way in the front. And then I will multiply by 2x. Okay, this is just 2x. Let's put that down. The sine y is out already. 1 over cosine y times this cosine y will be just 1, so we have 2x. And next, the sine y is out already, so we have to do this times 1. So we add it with cosine of y, like this. And look at this, actually match the denominator already. So I'm not going to distribute it, I'm just going to rewrite it. Let's put the cosine of y in the front, and then put this down, which is exactly the same thing as that. 2x plus cosine of y. Okay, and of course this and that will cancel. And this is sine y over cosine y, which is just tangent of y, isn't it? Okay, this is just an expression in terms of y. And remember, <laughs> this right here, for the special integrating factor, what you have to do is mu of y, it's equal to e as the base, and then we have the integral inside here, we put down this, and let me just rewrite the formula again, just to be legitimate. We have to look at this, which is n sub x minus m sub y over the original m, and then we have dy right here. This red part, altogether, is just tangent of y, so you know this is just going to be e raised to the integral power, this is just tangent of y, and then we have the dy right now. What's the integral of tangent y? It's ln absolute value of secant y. So this is just e raised to the ln absolute value of secant of y. Okay? And at the end, you can see this and that will cancel. Well, you have that absolute value, but the absolute value doesn't matter for the integrating factor because you end up with plus minus. 
both will work. So at the end, let me just phrase it. Let me just say, let's go ahead and use mu of y to be the positive version of just the secant of y. So this right here is what we are looking for. And you can watch my next video. I will multiply everything by secant of y right here and then solve that differential equation for you. But that's it for now.